All right, everyone. Um, this is the second design-related video in the set of tutorial videos I have about Teespring slash Fabrily. Um, this video will concentrate on actually using the Teespring platform to make your design. Usually I do text designs. I hardly use pictures. This is the design I made from GIMP. So let's just delete that. We'll start with a fresh, fresh palette. So what I normally do, say, uh, let's let's make a tank top for men, um, for veterans, right? So I like adding layers. So I don't just pick an interest. I usually add an interest and a gender, or an interest and an age, or an interest and a relationship, like a, a father, mother a daughter or something like that. So let's just say we're doing a veteran born in 1965. Okay, so let's go 1967 veteran. Veteran. I don't know how you could pronounce it in the US, but in Australia, I'm pretty sure you say veteran. Probably veteran. I don't know. So 1967 veteran. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's make it white. Let's make... There's a lot of good fonts um, Teespring has that you can play around with. Um, let's make it... Uh, there's one of my favorite one is this Zero. 1967 Veteran. There you go. Simple. can make a yellow, red. What do guys usually wear? Let's leave it white. 1967 veteran. We can probably make it its own. We can split this uh, text to two lines. Veteran. Boom. 1967 veteran. There you go. That's a good enough shirt. Um, I would use that. Test it out. You've got, you know, two layers there of targeting. You've got an age. You've got an interest. 1967 veteran. Uh, or if you want, you can go, like the example that we showed, we can go, um, obviously, people that have been in the army like to keep fit and if anyone do go to the gym and they are from the army then I reckon they would buy this so we'd go let's go Vietnam veteran Boom. white uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff like say you wanna let's make this color Green. Um, no, wait, let's make it white. Like this green. Add an outline, medium outline, make the outline color white. How does that look? It's too much, isn't it? Well, let's make it thinner outline. There you go. That's cool. Let's make it darker green. Alright. Vietnam veteran. It's good enough for me guys, I'll, I'll test that, see what happens, you know, next step, there you go, there's my shirt, or my singlet, make it 1995, you can add a couple more colours, so, I don't know, let's add blue, oh, no, I don't think they'd be using purple, dark blue and light blue. There you go. That's my design. And then I'd go next. And I'd actually go go ahead and create it. So uh, that's pretty simple stuff. I haven't actually used the pictures. Uh, the um, oh, you know, such. I haven't actually used this art um, that they have on their own platform. Maybe it's good. But uh, let's see. Why is that happening? Search for art. 
Vietnam. You want, can you use that? Maybe you can use that. I don't know if they'd... That's the Vietnamese flag, I think. So I don't know if they'd want that on their singlet. Maybe. Maybe. But you got to remember that the more colours, the more... Um, the more it's going to cost you per shirt. So usually I just have, at max, maybe two to three colours. Four would be pushing it. But, anyway, so that's my shirt. Bam, let's sell it and see if it works. So I'd go ahead and, yeah, that's simple design using Teespring's own designing platform. So, yeah, guys, so that's, that's that. Next video will cover, I think that's it for design. Next video should cover... We'll start face some Facebook stuff, so this is where it's going to get really interesting. So I'll meet you guys in the next video.